Myra Inchiveria was handicapped for life in a car accident. She and her family have been renting a small house for 15 years, but it lacks the basic amenities of a home. Myra's mother points out a few problems with the house. Leaking faucet, sinking floor, gaping holes in the ceiling where insects and rats come out at night. They have complained multiple times to their landlord. But they always say the same thing, that they don't have many. And there's no time. But the most inconvenient part is the house is not wheelchair accessible. Enrique Inchveria built a ramp for his daughter, but taking a shower still remains a huge problem for Myra. Things seemed grim until the Inchverias got selected to be a partner with Habitat for Humanity. They immediately began building the house along with volunteers. Construction superintendent John Hossel is particularly proud of building this home. Because I built helped build that house next door 15 years ago so this is the last house on the block that's a habitat home. because i've seen the neighborhood change when this was nothing but a bunch of junkies to now it's a nice neighborhood sylvia bautista has worked closely with the intervarias in the selection process for the linwood homes we had i would roughly say maybe uh, about three to four hundred people but it gets narrowed down because we do look at the needs not all the families have the needs so we do find the families with the most need. The family comes on weekend to inspect the progress of the house. The home is wheelchair accessible. The bathroom is designed with railings and shower and rooms with extra wide doors. Now, after several months of hard work, the house is finally finished. In a few weeks, the family will move in. The Inchvaria say Habitat is giving them another life-altering experience. This time, it'll be a joyful one. Sunny Johnston reporting.